So the latest library, as we mentioned before, in the crosshairs of those claiming indoctrination and inappropriate books in the kids section, that would be the Meridian Public Library. And tonight they're hosting their regularly scheduled board of trustees meeting, and that usually is about as eventful as, well, a library board meeting. However, tonight's meeting is when the conservative activist group, the Idaho Liberty Dogs, Liberty Dogs, and a few people affiliated with that group, this is the night they have chosen to show up and demand the library be defunded. At least that's the threat if the library doesn't remove several books from its shelves. And it's a list put out by the Liberty Dogs a few weeks ago claiming they are pushing pornography onto children. It's the same things we've been hearing since the last legislative session. When we spoke with the library last week, they told us they have a very specific policy on approving books, as do most public libraries. And should someone find a book they don't think is appropriate, well, just bring it up to them. They're going to reevaluate it and see if it fits their criteria. And it may not agree with what you're saying, but it'll at least go through the process. And that includes providing content for underrepresented groups, being accurate. That's part of the criteria. Also, having an actual demand from community members. Those are all things that they consider when it comes to what books they put on their shelves. Tonight, that board will be discussing and approving their proposed budget for the next fiscal year, which is why they kind of jumped in on this, talking about a budget. There's also a mo an item on the agenda that allows for public comments, which is where I assume some of this stuff is going to be taking place. Meeting starts at 7 o'clock. It's at the Cherry Lane branch on Cherry Lane in Meridian, and it is open to the public. You could also watch it happen online. But that does bring up the question, where should we focus our worries about what is influencing our kids? Joe kind of touched on it just a little bit ago. But it's not the libraries. It's not the books in the libraries. We learn about the world through pictures and words of other people and their experiences. That's what's in the libraries. These books that have raised people's concerns aren't even in the kids section. We checked. You don't want your kids reading Captain Underpants? That's fine. That's your prerogative as a parent. I don't want my 13-year-old overloading on sugar. Who should be responsible for my kid walking into Albertsons and buying a big bag of Skittles? Worried about indoctrination? It's not the libraries. Anyone who is transgender didn't decide to be transgender because of a book they read in a library. In fact, they didn't decide to be anything. That's just who they are. Much like when a straight person decided to be straight. If there was anything influencing a young person coming out and identifying as LGBTQ, it's usually because they found support from family and friends to be who they really are. A new study, by the way, just came out, published in the American Academy of Pediatrics just two weeks ago, showed kids who identify as transgender, well, that isn't happening because of social contagion. That's the theory of behaviors and attitudes easily th spread through a group of people. In other words, People don't become transgender by the same mob mentality of starting a wave at a football game or storming the Capitol. That's not how it works. In fact, that same study showed the number of kids identifying as transgender actually went down from 2017 to 2019. It went down over a two-year period. So are you worried about your kids and who's grooming our kids? It's not the libraries. Let me bring this to you. You've seen the headlines about the rampant sexual abuses in both the Catholic Church and the LDS Church, right? It's nothing new. It's been going on for decades. Meanwhile, up north in Moscow, home of Christ Church, which is a reformed evangelical church that hopes to turn the entire town of Moscow Christian. Moscow, excuse me. There's a former deacon of that church who next week, according to the Lewiston Tribune, is going to plead guilty to child pornography charges. He apparently had child porn on his phone and shared it messaging groups. So who has the greatest influence on our kids? Their friends, sure. Their family, of course. And we do as parents. It's not the libraries.